go, it's GF7 and today we are back with Premier League New Boys Hashtag 6. Number 6, 6 ever in series and I think this could be my last Premier League one. I could do Chelsea, I could do one or two more but I could be going over to a different league, doing different leagues and just changing up a bit. But there's more episodes you can do, it'll be more fun and everyone probably would enjoy that. Anyway guys, as you can see, we have Bournemouth. Bournemouth are another team that's on quite a few guys and so they are a decent team to do with, they've got all round players, obviously I've gone for a few not lower rated players because they're young and they've been signed on and I just want to test out how they do. I have played a couple of games with this team before, it's not too bad and let's see the team. Right and Boric, we know he isn't a new goalkeeper. And then we have Nathan Ake, he was on loan there last season so he isn't new either, neither is Distan, but Distan you can see is a solid centre back. Then you have Cook, I don't know. Yeah, Lewis Cook. Oh no, he's not. <laughs> Let's just get into the ones that are in. So we have Heinemann. Heinemann is a player that was signed on on a free from Fulham. He's a young player, 20 years old, and he looks like he could be a good player. He's a decent little on the ball, 71 pace, 69 dribbling, and he looks like he could do well in the future. And next we have their record transfer, Jordan I. Jordan I, age of 20 years old, did get signed on for £15 million from Liverpool. He, he is a very good upcoming talent. He's very quick on the game, of course. He's got dribbling and a decent shooting, but he looks like he could be well in this as well. And then we have Musa. He was, in fact, signed for 5.5 million. I'm sure he'll get an upgrade next FIFA. Let's see how well he can do on this FIFA. And you can see as he's a decent, he's a bronze, so there's not a lot to him, but he does look decent overall and not too bad. And then Matt Ritchie. I know, of course, he's moved away from Bournemouth. He's moved to Newcastle. But that's also sort of a transfer. But I just wanted to include him because I wasn't really anyone else to play on the right wing, and I just wanted to. So I just wanted for Matt Ritchie in, and because. Matt Ritchie shouldn't even have been sold really, he shouldn't have been sold on, it was a stupid decision. Anyways, that is the team, there's also the likes of Harry Arter, who's a very good player and he was very good last season. Anyways, that's the team, let's get into the first match. Alright guys, so his team is Rondon, Rodriguez, Schweinsteiger, Sessignon, Fellaini, Oxlade, Matthew, Mariano, Distan, Baines, and Bowdy. So it's a decent team, nothing too special. Let's see how well our team can play. We should, we might be able to do well, depends on the player really, because this team isn't that great. But anyway, let's get into the match. legs just before half time it's very good and three shots to entire four shots four goals four shots for entire game man 
it was a very good half really. I've had a few decent chances, his touch, his shooting, that sort of stuff. It just let him down a bit. When he's fairly, when he's further upgraded, upgrade, which he should be on FIFA now that he got that 50 million pound move. I was expecting him to have better next FIFA, but anyway, the team played quite well. Let's get in the second. <laughs> let them equalise but it was a good goal from Jordan I then a great finish but a howler from the goalkeeper in the last minute and now it's time for the player review video of course firstly we have Hindman Hindman he played well at 7.1 rate and he was all round he was quick he was forward he can play the ball he can play it back he can run past players I'd give him a 6 out of 10 probably not brilliant in terms of standards, but he could do everything. Obviously, he is a low rare player. Richie, I'm going to class on this because Richie is actually technically a transfer player. And Matt Richie, I thought he played very well. He was just down the wing. He didn't get any gold or assists, and I guess that's why he didn't um, get that high of a rating. But he did play well, and I'll give him probably a 6 out of 10 as well. Jordan Ivey played very well, apart from a few minor things like his touches and his shooting. A few minor things that did affect it, and so he did. Like the back gets 7.7 million with a goal and probably the best player, most inspirational player on the pitch and I'd say that he deserves a 7 or an eight. I'll give him an 8 out of 10. Mousset, he struggled to shoot. Might have the match in the end I guess because he scored the winning goal but he struggled to shoot, he struggled to make a lot and that is why I give him a 6 out of 10. He's good, he's very good at running past players, dribbling past players but his shooting just wasn't there in the end anyway guys i've been gs7 if you didn't like enjoy please leave a like rating subscribe if you want more and i'll see you next time goodbye